So every now and then we'll run into someone that says, well, this is a great idea. So why don't I just implement this in my business myself and start adding on 4%? Well, it's going to be very similar to the video on why is new terminals required. So one, the terminals by law need to automatically add the service fee. Okay, if you're running a $127.33 sale and you're manually figuring out what that 4% add-on is, there's definitely room for human error. So that's number one why the terminals need to be sent out to make sure that it's done automatically. Number two is it needs to be separately line itemed on the receipt. If you're a mini market and you have a $10 sale, you're like, well, I'm just going to add 50 cents to everything. Well, the receipt's only going to read $10.50. It's not going to separately itemize the service fee on there. Okay, and number three, this is a very, very big one. By law, you cannot make additional money through the cash discount program. So again, if, if you're a market and you're running a $10 sale and you go charge 50 cents, that's most likely a lot higher than what you're currently paying the processing companies to accept cards, hence you would be making a profit off of it. Okay, the cash discount program, it is a big no-no to do this to actually make money. You're not supposed to make money above your credit card processing fees. So to go out and do it on your own, you're taking the risk of one customer reporting that. Obviously there's big fines in place depending on what state you're in. So in order to do this legally and follow all the compliance laws that are in place, Working with us, we make sure that you have the proper signage, the terminal that does everything automatically, a receipt that discloses the service fee, and you're not allowed to make a profit off of it. Your profit when doing the cash discount program is the bill that you're no longer going to pay. That's a lot of profit already going in your pocket.